said you were going to lose both engines at a lower altitude than any jet in history. This was dual engine loss at 2,800 feet, followed by an immediate water landing with 155 souls on board. No one has ever trained for an incident like that. Our job is to investigate how a plane ended up in the Hudson River. On the Hudson. It's not a crash, it was a forced water landing. Simulation showed that you could make it back to the airport. Not possible. I felt it go. My aircraft. Your aircraft. I want you to know I did the best I could. Highline Incorporated is now represented by Wyant, Wheeler, Hellerman, Tetlow, and Brown. And more specifically, Andrew Beckett. Yes! Bravo! I sincerely appreciate your faith in my abilities. Mr. Beckett! <laughs> How are you? What happened to your face? I have AIDS. Oh. I'm seeking representation. You want to sue Wyant, Wheeler, Hellerman, Tetlow, and Brown? I was diagnosed with AIDS eight months ago during a bout with pneumonia. What was that in your forehead, pal? Uh, Andy, everyone in this room is your friend. I misplaced an important complaint. That's their story. We've been talking it over, your future, that is, and we feel that because we respect you so much, we must be honest with you. Excuse me. Am I being fired? Would you ex... In an ordinary life, Extraordinary events can change a man forever. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. I love you. I love you too. I'll be right back. Hello? was a little unfair. Until he made a little wish. I wish I were big. Sweetheart, it's 7.30, are you up? Josh! 20th Century Fox presents <laughs> Tom Hanks. I turned into a grown-up, Mom. I made this wish on a machine, and it turned me into a grown-up. So now what? You get a job. You cannot get a job. I play with all of this stuff, and then I tell them what I think. Can they pay you for that? Sucker! Vice President, he's only been here a week. See that girl over there in the red? Short upper legs around you so tight, you'll be begging for mercy. Skiffs approaching with armed intruders. Potential piracy situation. Copy, Alabama. You should alert your crew and get your fire hoses ready. Uh, yeah, it, is that it? Chances are it's just fishermen. They're not here to fish.
You see, when, when you end up killing one of your men, you tell yourself, it happened so you could save the lives of two or three or ten others. Maybe a hundred others. just tuned in we're talking to sleepless in seattle you called a radio station christmas eve he phones in one of those radio call-in shows he tells them that his dad needs a new wife and the shrinkette practically forces a guy onto the phone and says tell me what was so special about your wife well dr marshall feels i think it was like magic. magic sleepless in seattle that's what you called him on the show because he can't sleep and now 2000 women want his number here's sleepless in seattle you're the most attractive man I ever laid ears on. The guy could be a crackhead. Actually, he sounded nice. You know it's easier to be killed by a terrorist than it is to get married over the age of 40. That's not true. That statistic is not true. That's right. It's not true. But it feels true. Sandy has a girlfriend, Glenda. She's a weightlifter. Uh, and it's not like her neck is bigger than her head. Well, no, 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 no. I'm not asking you to set me up. What about Walter? Walter and I are engaged. What? <laughs> sincerely repents on what he'd done wrong he might get to go back to the time that was happiest for him and live there forever Would that be what heaven's like i just about believe that very thing John Coffey, you have been condemned to die in the electric chair by a jury of your peers sentence imposed by a judge in good standing in this state questions do you leave the light on after bedtime i know violent men i deal with them day in and day out there doesn't seem to be any hello my name's forrest forrest gump would you like a chocolate oh thank you it's funny what a young man recollects you're the same as everybody else you are no different your boy's different are you stupid or something? I'm as stupid as a stupid does. I'm Jenny. I'm Forrest, Forrest Gump. She was my most special friend. My only friend. We was together all the time. We was like peas and carrots, Jenny and I. Run, Forrest! Hey, stupid! Run! Now, you wouldn't believe it if I told you, but I can run like the wind blows. Who in the hell is that? That there is Forrest Gump, coach. Just a local idiot. I never thought it would take me anywhere. They even put me on a thing called the All-America Team. <laughs> well, you get to meet the president of... Flight 1520, Missouri will depart from gate 33. <laughs> Mr. Navarsky, please follow me. While you were in the air, there was a military coup in your country. The Republic of Krakosia is under new leadership. Krakosia? <laughs> I don't think he gets it. Where do I buy the Nike shoes? I'm going to need the passport also. Oh, okay. No, okay. No, no, take you. no, 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 no. No, Mr. Navorsky. Beyond those doors is American soil. You are not to leave this building. There's a man walking around the terminal in a bathrobe. I think it's CIA. You don't know what the hell you're talking about. That guy doesn't even speak English. I, I, I help you. Do you live nearby? Yes. Get 60 cents. Because we are very particular about punctuation.